Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create 9 option infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have drawn a semicircle and when I click, it will show you the option, the option 1, then it op comes to option 2. Likewise, it will show you all the options till option number 9. If you want, you can add more options. So let's see how we can create this slide in PowerPoint. First add a new slide. You can go and change the format background and give a gradient fill. I have used a light and dark gray or you can use any predefined one. You go to insert shapes, select a oval shape and give height and width as 8 inches. Zoom out and just place the oval shape something like this. 70% should be visible and the remaining should be out of the slide. You can remove the outline. If you want, you can remove the unwanted circle which are which is outside of the slide area. For that, select a rectangle. Select the triangle, sorry, the oval shape and the rectangle and say subtract. So this is the way you can remove the unwanted. Then right mouse click, go to the format shape and you can give any color to it light color you can just say light gray and give a solid outline which is a white color and increase the width to something around 12 points and bring the oval shape down so that the below border should not be visible. You can see it's showing perfectly now. Then add the small oval shapes again for the nine times. Make the height and width as 1.25 inches. If you want to have more, you can reduce the size. Or if you want to have less, then you can increase the size. You can add either on the top or you can add parallelly to the other side. Whichever way you feel it's easy, you can just uh, do it. So using Ctrl D, duplicate it and create the other side. But you have to make sure that this is aligned properly, otherwise it won't look good. So another two more to add, three more to add. And then this is the last one. And spend some more time by giving the right spaces between the circles. Or you can enable the grid line so that you can get the the right spacing. Then select all the small circles and go to format, send to back. 
if you want to align you can align further and then I'm going to change the color I'm going to use some soft colors for this use any color of your choice and fill it with a different colors for each circle All right, now I have given the colors. Now I need to add the text, the numbers to it. So for this, I'm just going to type one and you can change your font according to your, whatever the font you like. So in this case, I have used just uh, Arial Nova. I'm just going to place the font here and control D and place it everywhere all on all of the circles till the circle number nine now we have copied the numbers it's time to change the numbers the numbering pattern so starting with two three till number nine Now select one by one and start grouping it. Press Ctrl G to group it. Select the number and the circle and press Ctrl G. You have to do one by one. You should not do all at once. Then select all the circles. and send this to back then like this I'm just going to add the text here so this is I'm just going to type the heading as option 1 and then you can add one more uh, detailed description reduce the font size and you can type your own detailed description here And then group this, start pasting the next to the each small circle. So I have copied almost the text everywhere. You have to make sure that this is aligned properly.
and then start changing the number to according to the sequence and if you want you can change the color of the headlines or the options according to the circle color you can use the eyedropper to change the color easily likewise you need to do for all now it's time to do the animation go to animation enable the animation pane select the circle and the first one i'm going to use as fly in and for this also i'm going to make it fly in options make it from left and then you make it with previous and with the animation painter i'm going to copy the animation effect for the rest of the options so animation painter is very easy to copy the animation effect likewise you need to do for all so let's see how it looks like now when i click it will show you the option one then the option two three four five six seven eight and nine Hope you like this tutorial. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.